Well, as being the first practice of the year for the Crusaders, it's their first time on. Dave Allers has the story. The door has opened on the first chapter of John Baptist Hockey, the first practice of the Crusaders' first season. The strides are tentative and not as graceful, and that's to be expected. John Damon has the most experience of the BAP players, and he's only a sophomore. Well, I think it'd be good for our experience, but, you know, I don't think we'll have a chance of winning on some of those games. Sure, but experience is the key this year. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So we're trying to build. The Crusaders roster is not a typical high school lineup. Five of the BAP players are female, and they've heard plenty of reasons why they won't make it in high school hockey. They plan to prove their critics wrong. Some of them didn't could do it, and I guess that pushed me to push harder and try even harder when people don't believe in me. And a lot of them were real supportive because they knew that we could all do it. There's no doubt there will be plenty of learning going on this year. A lot of us don't have a clue what we're doing, like me. <laughs> so we're probably going to do a lot of things wrong, but I think we'll be a good team by the end of the season. By the end of the season, those strides will be a lot more confident. They will have skated through the first season of John Best Hockey. On Indian Island, Dave Allers, New Center. And of course, it's not it's going to make us a better team in the long run. Of the 12 players new to the sport, four of them are girls. And one goes the sentence of the rest of the rookies. Well, the main thing that I'm worried about right now is skating backwards. <laughs> I can't do it. I, I think I'm, I'm getting better and I'm improving every day. And I think the team, is too. the coaches said that we've been improving a great deal over the course of the... It's all these kids have their priority straight, and most of the credit for that is given to Thibodeau, a 12-year veteran of youth hockey who knows the true value of sports. I think they're going to have fun and, and have a lot of pride in being involved with the first team. And uh, I filmed the first practice, and they haven't seen it yet, but they're not going to believe how much they improved in two weeks' time. And I think when they do see the hate, and as we do it all year long, they're just going to get a big joy out of watching themselves improve every day. Uh, already been on TV. No matter what the standings may say, this is a team of winners. Howard Green, 7 Eyewitness Sports. First game in the school's history up to the Alexis Arena we go. Ray Thibodeau's club taking on Foxcroft Academy. The ponies get on the board here when Chad Burgoyne skates through the D and beats the Baps goalie one to nothing for the ponies. Foxcroft dominated the game, but Baps did get that first goal in the school's history, and the honor goes to Will Houston as he fires in a wrist shot here in the third period. It was uh, a big win for Foxcroft, 12 to one, but not a bad beginning for the Crusaders. We got a little running around and some rough edges to work on, but we got the sandpaper to smooth them out. Straight ahead, one day at a time, and uh, we got nowhere to go but improve. And I, with the attitude they have, there's no doubt in my mind they're going to improve every day. So Baps gets that first goal and still look for their first win. Not a bad start for them. There was this scene at Sock Alexis Arena, the Crusaders from John Baps. For the first period, well, everything seemed to be fine against the Foxcroft Academy Ponies. In fact, it was very good indeed. one nothing score, Ray Pib Thibodeau. First period of history. Huh. Nothing better than I thought. But then the roof caved in in the second period. Jamie Jordan deeks the goalie there. Foxcroft scored seven times in that period. They had 70 shots on goal, 12 to 1. Foxcroft over John Babs. Dave? And Jim Roach opening some new doors for his Wildcats and their vaguely familiar uniforms. Well, they jumped out to an early lead when Brian Sponberg gathers in the rebound and beats Stephen Archer to make it one and nothing Wildcats. But Ray Thibodeau's Raiders are a pretty good team. Sean Damon, watch this hit. He levels. This Wildcat gathers puck in himself and he heads up. This guy has played hockey before. Some guys on the team haven't. Watch him. He beats the defense, goes in alone. Scott Bernard stops him cold. But that's okay because the Crusaders tie it up when Will Houston takes the centering pass, blasts it through the screen. It was tied at one. The final, though, John Babs goes on to win. Aaron Boone, who makes it a 9-1 to one Brewer lead. Later on, it is Mark Hughes with a shot from the point here. Chris Monroe gets a stick on it, and he gets the score. Brewer wins it 12-1, to one, the final score. With a nice tip in, Craig had a hat trick, and Brewer never at up. We go to the second period, and Aaron Boone has the breakaway. He scores, he had the hat trick, so did Chris Monroe. Brewer storms by John Bass 12-1 to go 4-2 on the year. 
Well, a Preston Matthew will score on the backhand for the Foxcroft Ponies as they win it by a score. Breakaway for John Baps. All kinds of hub after that one. Coach Ray Thibodeau likes that. Has a few more suggestions on the bench. Foxcroft off the faceoff. Works towards the net. Preston Mayhew collects and scores. Foxcroft wins tonight going away the final nine. Chad Burgoyne will break in on the Baps goalie Steve Archer. He stopped once and he stops the rebound shot as well. In fact, Baps had the game tied when Will Houston breaks in and scores. It's a 1-1 count. But Foxcroft stormed in the third period. Watch Sean Raymond score from the slot. It wound up a nine. John Baps goalie Steve Archer. The good news made 90 saves. The bad news, he faced 104 shots. One of them here, Buddy Cyphers behind the net to Eric Neal for the score for the Bangor Rams. And it was a 14 to nothing win for the Rams. But Todd Garicki skates in. Steve Archer makes one save here. In fact, he made a lot of them. 104 shots he faced. He lost 14 to nothing, but still a pretty good effort for the guy from John 